What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to episode 4 of TSGG Game Pass Gold. In today's episode we're going to be featuring Wolfenstein 2, A New Colossus by Machine Games and published by Bethesda. Uh, hope you enjoy, as always if you do leave a like and subscribe and have an awesome week. Okay then, let's jump right into Wolfenstein 2, A New Colossus, the successor to a Wolfenstein 2, A New Order. Why do I think it should be episode 4 of TSGG Game Pass Gold? Why do I think you should play it? And what makes this game fun? Uh, starting off with fun factor and emergence as we always do. The game is a first person shooter. It's very enjoyable. Um, it kind of, the, the whole idea is kind of outlandish in a, in a world where Nazis were hyper advanced and they had higher technology and they have taken control of America and you are fighting as a rebellion fighter in the second revolution, uh, second American revolution, sorry, and it, it's just, it's such an outlandish idea that it's fun to play, it's fun to kind of fight against the, the Nazi controllers and, and kind of Bring back America. Fight for what we know America as and what would happen if Nazis had taken control of America or however it was to go. What That's what makes this game fun. It's kind of outlandish. It's it's wild. You have powers that just don't make sense. The whole, the whole kind of concepts of it are very, very far-fetched. But that's what makes the game fun. That's what makes the mechanics of it fun. That's what makes the kind of the the wild um, Nazi super soldiers who run at you with full armor and, and just crazy yelling and kind of berserk mode. It makes it fun. It makes it enjoyable. It, of course, has the different difficulties that can make it much more stressful on you, but that's your choice. Um, and it, for the emergence of the game, it's it's this one's a difficult one because it is so far out there that it is kind of hard to put yourself in that position. But you play the hero, of course, and it, it there's never a bad thing in a first-person shooter when you're playing the hero and you have some crazy powers that you can pick from, some crazy guns that you can upgrade, and it, there's just nothing you really that you can do that would that would make the game not fun for you. Really, you're just playing a hero fighting the Nazis, like that's the concept what what is there that's better out there right um so moving on to the uh control and gameplay mechanics which make the game very enjoyable is th it's very spread out so it has some rpg elements that i really enjoy that make the game very very fun you've got upgrading guns where you have to find upgrade kits throughout the world and the upgrades become insane like the shotgun that shoots rockets or or uh the pistol that fires electro kind of magnetic energy it's just such a wide variety of items and upgrades that the game becomes it, it really develops further the kind of wild outlandish crazy design of the game and it takes that to the next level with these kind of insane guns that you're like well this doesn't really make sense that i'm firing a rocket from a shotgun and that guy just exploded but that's what makes the game fun so that uh moving on from there moving on from the upgrades you've also got perks that are developed as your as you kill them in different ways you've got at the very beginning of the game, you get a selection of powers, kind of uh, suits for your guy that are either the, in this video, you'll see he'll suddenly shoot up into the air. Well, that's because he has stilts built into his legs to increase his uh, firing angle and give it, getting you to higher position and higher elevation because we all know high ground wins in shooters. So, well, if you've got them built into your legs, built in high ground, you're going to win quite often. So you'll see it in the video behind where I've suddenly shot up into the air and I'm 22 feet tall and I'm shooting down on people. That's the stilts built into my legs, you know, natural. Uh, there are other choices there. There's a kind of a football pads kind of upgrade where you just become a brute brawler and you can bowl through cars uh there's another upgrade that you can put on and it squishes you down really small and flat and you can slide underneath doors and things like that and that one of course does have the negative where if you're in that position for too long it starts to constrict your ribs just natural right that if you're teeny and can slide under doors your ribs are going to get a little bit constricted and it's going to make it hard to breathe and you start taking damage um the the you see what i mean by crazy that's that's what this game is this game is enjoyable it's way out there and it, it's a, kind of a wild ride that's the best way i can describe the game um but that's that's what i've got on the mechanics there's a ton of other mechanics but i don't want to give too much away you just have to dive in and really enjoy them and find them out for yourself uh moving on from there though we have all as always the graphics uh, it's a first-person shooter, and it, it is a little bit dated to this point. The the third ver or the, sorry, the third successor, um, 
comes out later this year. Uh, it's Wolfenstein Youngbloods, I believe is the name. Also published by Bethesda. It does come out later on this year in, I believe, June or July of 2019. Uh, so definitely keep an eye out for that one if you're going to dive into this one. Uh, but basically, the graphics are what you'd expect. They are a little bit gory. It does have, like I said, exploding bodies and things of that nature. But as far as, it looks a little bit dated, but it's enjoyable still. It's uh, It runs at 30 frames, I do believe. And even on the Xbox One X, it's not enhanced for it or anything. But it is, it is very good. Um, graphically, it's not, it's dark and dank, which is kind of the world that they've created. It's under Nazi control, you know, there's not a lot of bright color. There's, you, I mean, you'll see it there. You'll see the ghetto in the video. It's, it is towards the end of the video though, but you'll see what I mean by this, where it's, it's kind of, it's a, the graphics are a little bit outdated, but they're still, they hold up to today's standards. They're not anything that it really pulls away from the game or what it is. It's shoot the bad guys and move on and collect powers and shoot the bad guys big enemies like that's that's what this game is so if you're gonna focus on well that guy's head clipped through the wall this is it's not gonna be the game for you because you're gonna shoot that guy with a rocket and his head is 100% gonna clip through the wall that's gonna happen um, I'm gonna tell you that right now but it's not a negative like it doesn't you might see that and think well that's not realistic but the game is based on a world where an alternate universe where Nazis took control of the world. So there, there are things that are not going to be realistic in the game and you just kind of have to accept it for what it is. Uh, honestly, you're the main protagonist in the game. If you played the first one, you know him, um, Terror Billy. He started the second American Revolution and was blown up. But in this game, as you'll see throughout the game, I don't want to give anything away here, but there are some things that are pretty outlandish that go on so it's not i don't want you to go into this game thinking well this is going to be realistic uh call of duty type first person shooter it's not it's it's not what this is you get super high powered guns that do crazy things you get kind of crazy powers and you kill people in crazy ways that's the whole point of it think um something like rage that we're expecting to see come out next week similar type thing where the the chaos is kind of the beauty of the game and that's what it's designed around so look for that uh, moving on from there, we've got music and sound, and this is another category that you're not going to see too much of. Uh, it's this is, of course, it has the background music, and it is it's a decent score. And there's no issues with it. But what the problem is is this is set in a world controlled by Nazis. You're not you're not going to hear um, really enjoyable high high tune music or anything like that. There's not going to be music in the streets. This is not what this game is. Um, so it, it's not. It doesn't really add to the game, but it also doesn't subtract from the game because the game isn't supposed to be like a JRPG or something that is a DMC5 that is very based around the music and a lot of it, it kind of builds as the game goes. It's not That's not what this is, um, and that's not to say it's a negative. So if you're, if you're looking for a game like that that is very, very beautiful score or, or anything like that, definitely take a look at those games that I did mention. Uh, Kingdom Hearts is another one, but for if you're looking to play a, a kind of wild out there shooter where you're you can pop up suddenly 22 feet tall and shoot down on people, this is the game for you. It's got some very cool mechanics that I didn't go into that you find out later in the game, so I didn't want to really give too much away. Um, but that's that's what the game is. Uh, the story and replayability of the game. It's these games where you have kind of your choice of what you want to do, the powers you want, and the upgrades you make on your guns. They always have a ton of replayability because you can always go through and replay the game if you want to, making different choices of those upgrades, of those choices, or of those powers. Sorry. Um, so they they always kind of have that level of replayability in there. So it is it is enjoyable, and then the story is very good as well. Uh, it kind of. I keep saying crazy, I keep saying out there, but in a world controlled by Nazis, you, you can imagine there are some American citizens that don't actually enjoy that. So basically, you you are fighting the American Revolution, the sorry, the second American Revolution to rid the Nazis or rid America of Nazi control and take back the kind of the planet from the Nazis for yourselves. So obviously there is a third one coming out. It may not have gone your way. You don't know. You, you got to play the game and find out. But that is all I do have for you guys today. If you do it, enjoy. Like I said at the beginning, leave a like and subscribe. And we appreciate you. Have an awesome week.